Just do your thing and people will like you. So there are people who like you, some will not, who, who, will, um, uh, some will not like you. And that is a fact. Once you decide to, to be on internet, just know that naturally there's someone who will hate you. Just for no reason or the way, even for, from the way you look. There's someone who, the moment they look at your face, they are done. They just close. They just close the laptop. If they are watching the laptop or uh, TV, done. They are gone because they just looked at you. So naturally, it's nature. You will not be liked by everybody. So if you think you will be a favorite of everyone, everyone will like you, then you are wrong. You are completely wrong. Some people will like you. Some will not. It's nature. It's natural selection. It's natural selection. Now, the other thing is like, this person, now, after me not sending the pocket money he wanted, this person has been making other people see me like I'm a bad person. Today, I'm not going to mention your name, but wherever you are, you know yourself. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to say this now, this person, person is tarnishing Mara's image. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is John. It's been a while uh, since I made uh, a video. And uh, today, I thought of uh, doing one reaction video. And uh, uh, this one is about the scamming uh, allegations. And uh, anti Yami uh, 74 uh, made a, a video which uh, uh, to me is, uh, is her genuine a genuine um, expose and um, she did that in good faith in my own opinion she did that in good faith uh, so that uh, uh, people don't uh, uh, fall victim to uh, such cases let's listen to uh, Miami Kitchen uh, or anti Yami 74 uh, describing describing a situation uh, which she encountered with someone in Kenya let's listen someone guys approached me approached me saying that that person wanted to set a like fundraising on YouTube because that person had a problem because uh, wherever he was building I'm not going to mention names but I'm going to explain to you guys wherever he was building the police they are, uh, from the country they are going to arrest him because he built n n towards the road and now he's having problem. So is, is it okay if he can set up a go fund or else he needs help with 40,000 Kenyan shilling, which is about 300 US dollars. You know me, I don't know dollars, I know pounds. Now, because of my concern, what I did, I said to that person, I wanted to reason to that person. Why did I wanted to reason to that person? I said to the person, oh, didn't you investigate first or do some research about where you are building? Then the person said that, oh, no, that time I did not do it. But, you know, I need this money by tomorrow because if I don't get that money by tomorrow, I'm going to be arrested. Then I said to the person, I said, but do you think this is the right way to get the money? Because that money is a lot of money. But also you need to be careful because if you set that go fund, People, you being close to Mara, you being someone who is in Mara's side, people, they will twist everything. They will mention Mara's name that, okay, you see, this guy, they will even 
uh, think that Mara is part of it. <coughs> the guy said, but I have to do it. I said, you know what, me, I don't want to get involved. Guys, why is it that I did not want even to get involved? I did not want to get involved because at the end of the day, I don't support something like that. I didn't see any reason why someone, you plan to build a house, then you have to believe that, okay, whenever you've got a problem there, you have to uh, set a go fund. I said to him, I said, do you know what? Nowadays I started reacting, so I don't want to be part of it. Now, guys, it's not about that. He didn't say anything. He just said, okay, anyway, I'm going to continue. I think the person did it. I don't know if they did it or whatsoever. I didn't check because to me, I washed my hands. Now, on a, maybe last month or what, the same person contacted me, said to me, oh, I need help because all my money I've used uh, to pay rent, but I'm getting free food wherever I am, but I need, so I said, you know what, I cannot help because even me, I'm trying to build myself. Then the person sent me a message that, oh, thank you very much, I wish you all the best. Before all this go find, the person, person sent me a message to say that I'm looking for a job in London. I said to the person, how are you going to get a job in London? It's not easy like that. It's, it doesn't seem as easy like that. Here in the UK, to come here in the UK is very difficult. Maybe you need to go to the embassy or British Council to see because I think they do they do help how you can get work here because i know they've been employing some carers from a lot of uh, countries i said it's not all that easy oh no i've tried but guys i have to say this it's, it might seem really easy for people who are in africa to think that people here they can get anything they can get a job for you you it's easy to get a job rather than whenever you are in africa to go maybe to the embassy or go to the british council if you're in commonwealth country and just find out research do some research because i've seen people from africa coming here to work you need to find the channels because me i'm not in africa now the other thing is like this person now after me not sending the pocket money he wanted this person has been making other people see me like i'm a bad person today i'm not gonna mention your name but wherever you are you know yourself because at the end of the day i'm gonna say this now this person person is tarnishing mara's image and this person knows himself that he's close to mara because one i'm someone whom i am a stranger i am from a foreign country but you are telling me to support you to set up a go fund and i'm advising you that that go fund if you do that people will mention mara mara's name then you are telling people that i stopped talking to that person i can't i i, I blocked yeah he blocked me and he's even asking others to block me i blocked her because since she started reaction i can't talk to her how many people are they reacting how many people are they reacting there just because i'm someone from the foreign country where people they think that they can just get whatever they want it doesn't work to me that's why i thought this person needs to stop so guys um auntie yami uh, came out and said that uh, someone uh, from Kenya and uh, uh, who calls um, himself a friend to uh, Marwa has been uh, calling her and uh, kind of intimidating her um, uh, to support him in a in a project so uh, auntie yami is saying that uh, this guy has been uh, has been pushing her for a while and uh, asking for support towards a, a building project which apparently is uh, stalled and the guy has no uh, funds to complete the project 
and then again there's an issue about the land and something like that so when this guy approached um, auntie yami um uh, auntie yami was very uh, clear to that person that um, uh, she's not interested or rather uh, she was not in a position to help him with uh, uh, his endeavors or whatever request he, uh, he wanted from uh, from uh, aunt yami who is uh, who goes by the name Liz. so the other request which uh, uh, this guy asked Liz, apart from the support was the project was uh, to set up a, a GoFundMe uh, towards that project, building um, a house or whatever building structure he was, uh, uh, was building. So Liz did not buy that. And um, she did not want to be involved at all in that uh, project or that fundraiser um, the way the guy wanted but kind of this guy has been pestering um, uh, Liz for a while now because Liz is talking of um, that this guy uh, approached her as far as uh, June uh, uh, this year and we are in uh, August so Liz did not want to be involved and she was not um, uh, in a position to help and uh, she wanted to get out of that in good faith not to be involved at all and she wanted to mind her business so this guy respectfully should have just uh, uh, moved on and uh, look for support elsewhere and leave Liz alone but Liz is saying from the video is that Liz, Liz is saying this guy kept on um, following her and asking her for support and all that. So Liz was wondering, why is this guy forcing me and instead of working hard to, to fund this project? The same, the same way uh, Liz is working, working hard in the, in the UK. So um, Liz was very categ categorical in that this this fellow is forcing is making Liz uh, to look like she's exposing uh, Marwa's friend but uh, Liz is saying that was not um, uh, high intention but the circumstance where somebody is trying to 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 to, to put uh, Liz in a mix and uh, goes to an extent of um, uh, telling other people that Liz is a bad person and such uh, kind of uh, allegations. So Liz was not happy and uh, she wanted to put uh, things straight. So if, basing on what Liz has said, Liz did not describe the person. So we don't know who the person is. Even myself, I don't know who that person is. The only int, uh, Liz uh, Liz gave was that um, he's in Kenya and uh, he, he alleges to be a supporter of Marwa but he doesn't uh, ail from Nyabuanse. So that must be another supporter of Marwa but not in Nyabuanse. That's according to Liz. So, so Liz is saying she decided to, 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 to come out and talk about this thing so that uh, another person doesn't fall victim and also so that she can save her own um, reputation from being damaged because of something she did not agree to participate in. So having listened to, to, to Liz, uh, I always prefer to be... To, not to judge people but uh, from what Liz is saying it's uh, it's it's really wrong 
for someone to 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 do that to any other person not necessarily least because people need to understand that um uh, you don't force someone to help you you don't force someone to help you you do your thing do your assholes work hard work hard and do your content if you are a youtuber youtuber do your content your own content you don't have to attack anybody you don't need to attack marwa you don't need to attack um Liz or uh, aunt yami you don't need to uh, you attack your fellow youtuber for you to be successful no just do your thing and people will like you so there are people who like you some will not will uh, uh, some will not like you and that is a fact once you decide to to be on internet just know that naturally there's someone who will hate you just for no reason or the way even from the way you look there's someone who the moment they look at your face they are done they just close they just close the laptop if they are watching the laptop or uh, tv done they are gone because they just looked at you so naturally it's nature you will not be liked by everybody so if you think you will be a favorite of everyone everyone will like you then you are wrong you are completely wrong some people will like you some will not it's nature it's natural selection it's natural selection so if 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 someone doesn't support your idea or your project the uh, whatever you are doing or your business or even your content your content if people don't like it that's okay that's okay there are other people who like it just keep on working hard and doing your thing but don't start now reacting and saying this other did not want to support me now you start backstabbing and uh, making fake allegations about those people fake allegations about those people just in the name of you just want to to now damage their reputation because they didn't help you it's wrong because i know if that guy had kept quiet not uh, and stop pestering um uh, Liz, Liz would not have uh, talked about it because he asked for a request Liz said no and that should it should have ended there but to keep on pushing someone is wrong because Liz also said she's working hard in in uh, in UK to 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 put food on the table youtube pays so little so some people even do youtube for fun not necessarily to to for, for to earn livelihood so the fact that somebody is in in uh, europe or us or western world or uk doesn't mean they have a lot of money I've, myself i've lived in um, western world for uh, over 10 years and i can as uh, confirm that people work hard the moment if you don't go out to look for money you'll not you'll, you'll not get any, you'll not have any money you'll not pay bills so you've got to go out as all pay your bills that's how people do they work hard there is no free money there is no free money unless if you win a jackpot or something like that so the assumption that uh, people in western world have a lot of free money is wrong is wrong so forcing Liz to support you is totally wrong it's totally it, it, it's, it's totally wrong and then going ahead now to try and taint um her name because she didn't accept to support you is even more wrong it's even wrong so two wrongs don't even make don't make a right so from my perspective and the fact that uh, i can put myself in uh, lisa's shoes eh, uh, is is that uh, there are some people who can be their names can be tainted for no good reason for just not for, for not doing uh, for, for doing nothing basically because all Liz did according to her is that she said no I don't want to support that project but then now 
her name is being um, tainted because of that. So Jeff Matiko, some time back, because Jeff, Jeff Matiko has uh, lived in uh, uh, Spain and uh, he knows how people work hard out there uh, to make money. And uh, Jeff Matiko once said that uh, most people uh, or upcoming YouTubers want to be all of a sudden to be mega rich just like Marwa. All of a sudden. It doesn't work that way. It, it has to be step by step. You cannot never open a YouTube channel today and you want to be like Marwa tomorrow. It can't work. It can't work. Life is a journey. Life is a journey step by step. Step by step. You cannot wake up today and you want to be Cristiano Ronaldo. You can't. You've got to, to train and have that talent. People are different. People are different. As much as Marwa is in YouTube just like any other person, you might not be exactly like Marwa because Marwa could be having his talent, which you cannot, don't even have. As much as you are in the same uh, YouTube space. The same thing in uh, athletics. There will always be a winner. And you are in the same race. So people are not the same. And circumstances and situations for people are different. Are different. It's different for ev ev everybody. So the situation of now turning back and hitting someone because someone is not supporting you and all that. Is, uh, is is really uh, uh, not acceptable. I remember Chef Matiko once said that people, some people assume that in Western world you just pick money from the from the trees. So, but then Jeff Matiko um, was attacked because of that. He was called names because of being uh, truthful and saying that, saying that uh, people need to understand that uh, it's all about hard work. There's no shortcut. But Chef Matiko, most of the uh, guys uh, who did not like what Mashiko, uh, Jeff Matiko said about donations uh, were against uh, Chef Matiko. They tried to uh, to turn his name a little bit. But Ma Jeff Matiko was saying the truth. You've got to work hard. Even in Western world, people work hard. There is no free money. You have to work hard. So, and you don't force people to like you. Do your thing, work hard. People will look at you appreciate, and appreciate you in their own way. Out of no force. Just out of their own wish. They like you and they wish to support you to do one, two, three. They will help you. They will support you. But not through intimidation and force. So, I think I, I support Liz based on what she said because there is always uh, two sides of the go of the coin in every uh, situation but based on the information she gave i think i support this because govern govern me is not something to just open anyhow there are rules and regulations so you can't just open govern me and you say you want to 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 uh, to, to complete a house because the questions pe people were asking was why did you start the project if you didn't have the capital and uh, if you ask for support and someone says no you have to be uh, respectful enough to understand that a no is a no so move on and do something else stop uh, trying to force someone because if this guy had moved on Liz would have kept quiet and uh, continued with uh, her own uh, thing. So that is uh, uh, something which uh, I think um, also Marwa needs to, to look into it because according to Liz, this is someone who calls himself uh, Marwa's friend or supporter. So there will there will always be that perception out there that uh, this this guy is close to Marwa, so probably uh, Marwa knows him and all that. I, like because for example, somebody like me, like me, I like Marwa, but 
I don't I don't know Marwa. We've never met with Marwa. We never met met, met with Marwa. So people who 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 try and uh, as, try associate with Marwa show that they are close to Marwa and and such things. Then all of a sudden they do some weird stuff. Will eventually taint Marwa's name because people will start and associate and say, okay, so this guy has been uh, visiting the villa. This guy has been uh, uh, getting shout out from Marwa and uh, they are close to Marwa. So there's that assumption that somehow Marwa is involved, which is wrong. So Marwa needs to, if possible, uh, needs to just uh, uh, contact. Uh, Yami or Yami needs to contact uh, uh, Marwa and tell Marwa who that person is uh, so that uh, Marwa can just cut those ties and not associate with that person again because now if somebody starts to do such weird things and at the same time they say that uh, they, they relate with Marwa or they are close to Marwa then uh, in one way or another, Mar Marwa's brand is affected. It's wrong. Let's let's see what some people were commenting here about uh, the whole thing, uh, and uh, which uh, I think I support. There's someone here called uh, uh, Leona Lewis who said it's very sad. Wireless um, Marwa. The Mwango Angomo are working very hard uh, for their brand or to build their brand on YouTube. They create vid uh, videos every day, even on sun Sundays. And uh, people love to support them. And uh, she says, me included. And then you have uh, them that think that they can have what Marwa has by doing nothing and have it today and ra rather yesterday. So I suppose this because you cannot start um, YouTube today and you think tomorrow you'll be a millionaire. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You've got to continue doing the things you've been doing how you have been put, putting food on the table. You continue with it. As you try uh, YouTube, if you have passion for YouTube. But don't expect YouTube all of a sudden to change your life. No, it doesn't work that way. Continue doing your thing, what you've been doing. Do YouTube on the side and don't depend on YouTube because you don't know what is there. YouTube doesn't uh, uh, pay so much. Otherwise, people would be, everybody would have left the, what, uh, their, their work and considered on um, YouTube, it's a process. With time, YouTube will uh, pay. But not just in an instant like, like this. You just want to be a big YouTuber like Wodemaya and uh, Ayamara. So, uh, Leona Lewis is, is right here. It's right here. You cannot start YouTube today and you expect to be a big uh, YouTuber to, today or even tomorrow and successful like Marwa, just like that. The other guy is... Uh, uh, it's called uh, Tumba Kabuya. He's saying, um, Hi, Hanti. You are those... Uh, sorry. Uh, hi, Hanti. Those people from Kenya... Uh, okay, it's not very clear, but... Um, The message is saying that I don't know Marwa is disabled on one eye and working very hard and and they are jealous of Marwa for me. For me it's a sad situation and envy. They are th they are thinking in Europe and USA people people are rich. Yesterday I watched uh, uh, okay, the, 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 it's it's not clear. The sentence is not clear. But whatever, what he, he, um, uh, he or she, I think is a, a gentleman, uh, or let me just say he or she is saying, is that uh, there is envy in all these things. People want to to um, people assume 
that in uh, Western world like USA, they give an example of Europe and USA are rich, so they have money to just send, which is a very wrong assumption. People struggle in Western world. There are people who are homeless and they are citizens of that country, but they are homeless. People struggle. People struggle. Not everyone is rich. There are few cases, just like even in Kenya, there are people who are rich. So even in Western world, there are people who are rich, there's middle class, and there's also the poor. So the, the generalization that everyone is rich in Europe or US or Western world is, is wrong. So that's what uh, they are trying to say here, uh, that uh, it's all about envy, that they want to be as rich uh, as possible. And then uh, there's another one, uh, Monik, uh, Monika, Monikazi, uh, says, Auntie Yami, you are doing good by speaking up. Why did he build the house without cap capital? You have your own family to support. Hope this will make him to stop begging. So the same point, the same point, reminding um, Liz that uh, she has a own um family too to, to, to take care so no one should force her to uh, to support and this one we do, for me people will always support you if, when they like you or when they see what you are doing or when they appreciate you when they appreciate you but you don't force people to appreciate to appreciate and support you it doesn't work that way another one saying Rebecca saying uh, it should be stopped uh, people like him are the ones pulling for Marwa so Marwa can be careful with people around him. Yeah. Marwa should be really, really be careful and study his circle of friends. I've said that before. Marwa needs to check that. Because there are people who will stick around um, uh, Marwa like a tick. But then they are playing uh, some other cards under the, 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 the table. And then eventually they run away from Marwa and say, oh, Marwa this, Marwa this. So Marwa needs to be uh, careful about their friends. He's about his friends. Because some friends are playing uh, some dirty games. If, if we go by this scenario. Because you cannot say that you are close to Marwa, then you are doing some dirty uh, deals on the side. Because Marwa will be affected. So if you are if you are Marwa's friend, then you are one of your strong uh, agenda should be to protect Marwa's brand. Otherwise, you have no business saying um, uh, I'm close to Marwa. The other one is uh, Evans uh, Tikaya, uh, who is saying uh, greetings and love from Australia. Marwa's fan, fan kindly notify Marwa to stop people destroying uh, Marwa's legacy. Uh, thank you, Yami Kijan, for continuous support, positivity, uh, dedication, wisdom to Ayamara. Okay, so that's the same thing. Saying Marwa, to, she needs, um, at least needs to notify Marwa so that Marwa can uh, protect himself from such. Then there is uh, someone here saying, Auntie, you are speaking the truth. People are so mean and jealous. Some Kenyans think that people living abroad pick up money off the streets. Uh, why is it? Why are people so evil? Uh, Auntie, you did the right thing by not falling into that trap. People don't realize that Marwa traveled and worked hard to build this channel. What a shame, how terrible. You did the right thing. So basically, that's what they're saying. Marwa has always said that it's been a minute. It's been a while since uh, he ventured on YouTube. So he has worked hard. He has worked hard. Whatever he has, he has worked hard. So you cannot come, up, come today. You attach yourself to Marwa, that Marwa is my friend. Then all of a sudden you want to be like Marwa. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, there's someone here who's saying you better you better tell Marwa who, who this person is, so he's aware. I support that too. At least Marwa needs to to know so that uh, he can also check. And uh, 
The other one says they treat people from overseas like uh, working ATM machines. Uh, that's Brenda. Um, people might not like the way Brenda said, but uh, it's the same as only that she used another word, but it's the same as the one who said um, not everyone in rich, is rich in Western world. So to an extent where if somebody says no, you assume that they refused. They have money, but they refused. When someone says no to your request for support, people, some people assume that they, oh, they have money, but they refuse. They don't want to help. But in some instances, they genuinely do not have that money you're asking for. So continuing to pressure them is a very bad move because you are affecting those people, even psychologically. You are stressing them because you are forcing them to help you when in real sense they don't have that kind of cash you're asking for. So I, I, I really... Um, I think... Um, Liz um, uh, is right in what, in what she did. Some people would have expected Liz to keep quiet. But I think it's right to come out and say side things because people need to understand that you don't force people to help you. Just do your think, thing. Work hard. Do your asshole. And uh, people in one way or another will, will like you and support you in their own way, the way they want. But it's not you forcing people to, 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 to help you. Because this idea of, of, of forcing, uh, being uh, so direct with support. Because there are some people, some, uh, people who are so direct, they ask for money. They ask, like... Um, like for the case of Liz now, where you 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 say the project, you explain, so you already have that assumption that I will get this much, because for the case of Liz, Liz said the person wanted forty thousand shillings, so you see this is a person who is specific; they want a certain amount of money from you. That should not be the case. Just if you need help, tell someone you need help, and you leave it at that. Don't start saying I want this from you, and then you keep on. Uh, forcing that person or um, disturb, disturbing that it's like pressuring that person so that they can give in and uh, just say oh it's okay let me pay this person so it's a wrong thing to do and uh, for this one I think uh, I stand with Liz based on what she said because uh, there are always two sides of the going. The other guy guy can come up with their own version. But the fact that he he conducted Liz is uh, and continued asking because Liz is saying she has evidence of proof that it has been going on from June. So that's more of pressuring. It's, it's pressuring somebody. It's, it's, it's like you want this person to help you by force. Because if you ask help once, that's okay. But if you keep on, somebody has told you no, and you keep on following that person, it's, it's a wrong thing to do. So, bottom line is, everybody works hard, whether it's in Africa or in Western world. There's no, there are no people who are, who are rich by just uh, sitting down and sleeping. And uh, everybody works hard, whether it's in Africa or Western world. So there's no free money. So the assumption that there's a lot of money in Western world is wrong. People work hard. People work hard. They go out there and look for money. People work hard everywhere. So when Liz says, I don't have the money, she's right. She's right. Because she said she also struggles to put food on there. On the, on the table. So people need to understand that and stop assuming that there's always free money in, uh, in, 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 in Western world. It's not. So guys, I thought about uh, just commenting uh, about that um, because uh, I've been, I've been in Western world, so I understand what Liz is uh, talking about. 
that assumption that there's always money in the Western world. Um, that uh, that lie is uh, further from the truth. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, that was it. And uh, I hope Marwa knows the guy and uh, try to cut the links uh, with that person. And of course, the guy will still have his version of the story. But based on just what Lisa said, with evidence of the communications from between uh, her and the, the other guy, is uh, so I just speak. For me, I just pick the issues which people assume, the assumptions that uh, govern me is meant for for every little thing you have a problem today and you just decide. You govern me is supposed to be for extreme, most cases, for extreme uh, issues, emergencies, medical, things like that. Then the assumption that people are extremely rich in Western world, USA, Europe, UK is wrong. Not everyone is rich. There are people even who are homeless and they are citizens in Western world. You live in a foreign world and you are you live a better life than somebody who is... Uh, um, some people who are natural citizens. So it's, it's they always... It's the same. There are poor, poor people in Western world. There are rich people. There are middle class. Just the same ways in Africa. So that assumption is wrong. The other assumption is uh, is that uh, that uh, you ask for help and you with an instant you get the support. No, people should understand when they ask for support and somebody says no, I don't have that. That no should be strong no and should be a serious no. Don't assume that this person the no means they don't they have money but they don't want to help. But rather, it means, no, I don't have the money or I don't support your agenda or your mission or whatever you want to do. So let's stop bothering people and forcing people to do. People will always like you. If you do your thing, be respectful, be honest, do your thing. And pray to God that you'll be successful in the line of, in your line of uh, uh, duty or whatever you are doing. See you guys. Thank you. I decided to talk a little bit about that. See you next time. Bye-bye.